اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ڈیئر برادرز اینڈ سسٹرز السلام علیکم مائی نیم از شعیب خان ان ٹو ڈیز ٹوٹوریل ویل بی ڈوئنگ اے تھری ڈی ایکسپلوژن آف اے تھری ڈی ٹیکسٹ ان تھری ڈی اسٹوڈیو میکس اینڈ ڈوئنگ ریسٹ آف دا ورک ان آفٹر افیکٹس ایکچولی دس از اے ویڈیو کلپ دیٹ آئی ہیو سین ان اینڈرو کریمرز ویب سائٹ ویڈیو کو پائلٹ ڈاٹ نیٹ اینڈ آئی تھوٹ ٹو مائی سیلف ہم ہاؤ ڈی ڈو دیٹ So I came up with my own way of doing it after a few experiments. And I think, I'm, I'm sure Andrew Kramer's way is much better than mine, but this is what I have done and I thought I, sh I should share it with you guys. So as you can see, most of the work is done in 3D Studio Max. And then, of course, the post work is done in After Effects. So I have added a geometry in 3D Studio Max, a P array to blow it up into fragments, and a deflector P omni on a floor, and in forces is gravity and drag. And then I've added a sapphire gizmo for fire effect. So it's a very, very simple tutorial that uh, is done in 3D Studio Max. It's not difficult at all. So um, let's start this tutorial in 3D Studio Max. So here we are in 3D Studio Max. This is how the whole thing looks like. Uh, I know a bit scary, but don't worry, this is nothing. I'll glide you through this tutorial and uh, you'll find it very, very easy. So let's begin the tutorial now. So first of all, we'll start with uh, by resetting 3D Studio Max. And uh, we'll start with the floor, a plane. Draw a plane in perspective view and maximize this. and turn on edit faces so that you know how many faces it has got so we can do segments let's do six six and the size is probably 300 and 300 let's add edit poly to it we'll select polygon mode and you select all the faces. We scroll down and we go to Edit Polygon and we click Inset because we need more faces to extrude them. So if you inset, if you do inset just like that, it will inset the whole thing. But if you need, you need it in Polygon because you need tiles. You need to create tiles. Let's say two is fine. Two looks all right to me. Yeah. As the faces are selected. We'll, we'll go to bevel as you can see in bevel in height one is fine and we'll say apply again so it applies again it gives us another face so now we will apply the outline and then we need to reduce the face a little bit as well so as you can see we've got nice looking tiles here and now you say ok so all you need to do is select all the tiles and go down polygon properties and then you just say auto smooth and your tiles are smooth so now if you render it and see how it looks see nice looking tiles if you go to shapes and you write the text click in the front face I want the size let's reduce a little bit more uh, ok that size is fine and the font is up to you whatever you want to choose so now let's go to bevel and bevel the text Yeah, the beveling is uh, actually I want the font to be bold yeah so now we go to bevel there, there are different levels in bevel so uh, level 2 is for, for the thickness of the font how thick do you want the font to be so let's say this is the thickness yeah. and this is the back part that for beveling and this, this first one is for the first place point 3 and this point 3 as well now you can see this has beveling from the back 